my God. Oh, you guys feel so good right now. You guys feel as good as it felt when I got a blowjob on my wedding night. I don't want to brag or anything, but it happened. And when I got this blowjob, we said a prayer first. We did, because we wanted it to be a righteous blowjob. <laughs> a blowjob that was worthy of God's grace. And so we prayed and we said, Heavenly Father, please bless this blowjob to nourish and strengthen our bodies. And then I prepared. And she came over, and she took my penis in her hands. And she looked at it with a little bit of trepidation. I'm gonna go over here so that these guys can see. <laughs> she was doing this. And then she steeled herself. <laughs> and then I immediately came in her face. You guys, that was the first time anyone had seen my penis. <laughs> Let alone gone <laughs> to it. They should call them something else if that's not what you're supposed to do. Because how are the, those of us that grew up without porn supposed to know? How are we supposed to know? And she got better at it too. Like over the next couple of months, she started to practice. She had like a hot and a cold that she would do. <sighs> and I'm, I'm telling you guys, that tingle's different. It's pretty nice. Now there's like a nice warm breeze that blows through, and I'm like, woo, woo. <laughs> she had something she called the marathon. <sighs> and then she'd shit herself. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you guys. We didn't know that that was an option. We didn't know. My favorite was called the Labradoodle. <laughs> but sadly, the blowjobs stopped. They did, they did, because we went to, uh, to what, what, an institute. We went to an institute class. If any of you have been to an institute class? A couple of you? Yeah, you get it. So we went to the institute class and they told us um, that blowjobs were an abomination. They did, and so the blowjobs stopped. And so did our marriage.